I recently did a gaming detox where I did not game for 90 days. No computer games, no phone games, nada, nothing, 90 days. So in this video, I wanted to share with you guys why I decided to do a gaming detox, what I learned from the 90 days of the gaming detox, and ultimately how the detox has pretty much shifted my mentality with gaming. So disclaimer time, this video is not to say that all gaming is bad. I've pretty much been a gamer my entire life, literally since I was a little kid. All I asked is that you watch this video with an open mind and maybe consider some of the points that I raised in this video and ultimately whether you should consider doing a gaming detox. So before we proceed, are you following my Twitter? As always, I've been dropping some pretty sweet threads on the Twitter that I think you would personally enjoy. One of those threads being the power of productive procrastination. Something that has helped me a lot with some of the social media goals that I've had and trust me, being a content creator your mind is literally all over the place. So check out the Twitter if you're not following the Twitter already. So before I actually jump straight into why I decided to do a gaming detox, I think it's very important first to establish why we actually game. So what better way to answer the question of why we game than asking streamers on Twitch? Let's go. Let's ask the homeboy Crane. Yo Crane, can you answer the question, why do we game? I'm to get rid of daily stresses of life, like work, Fucking school, you name it, bro. I like that. I like that. Or game to connect with people and make friends. <laughs> really great or... time, dude. So let's ask Peachy here, who I've actually met off of uh, TikTok Gaming. So let's get her opinion. Hi, Peachy. Just wanted to ask, why do we game? She's in the middle of a game. So I hope I'm not interrupting her. Yo! It's Legend Daily. Hey, man. How's it going? Hope you're doing good. How's, how's the life? Why do we game? Why do we game? To escape. That's all. The escape, I like that. Uh, for me personally, because I don't, I don't, the stress of reality is a little bit too much. And I think in video games, it really helped uh, let me escape. All right, so let's ask Chana. She's actually doing a subathon right now. Hi, Chana. Can you answer the question, why do we game? Hi. Hi, Chana. Can you answer the question, why do we game? You want me to, um, I haven't talked to you in a long time, Chris. Hope <laughs> Um, the reason I feel like why a lot of people game, so I feel like gaming is different for- Here, let me turn this on. He's getting into it. People game to get their minds off a of thing as a distraction. To other people, might be like, oh, for entertainment, it keeps them busy throughout the day. Like, I feel like a lot of people have different answers or like it helps people cope. All different type of answers. That's my take on why people game. Cause like also people just find it entertaining and fun. That is true. There is so, there is so many, honestly, there is That's so the many. Problem. If you had to- think of a number one reason, what would it be? Okay, so number one reason why people would game, like I said, to each your own, like I think it's like, it hits different demographics. Like, you know, it, I think it's different for everyone. So I don't think there could be like a number one reason <laughs> why like people would like game. So just based straight off of the answers that these streamers said, the common theme here is escape, escapism. We game to escape reality. And I think it's very important to mention here that the way people escape reality through gaming actually varies from person to person. For one person, maybe they just want to have a social time and talk to other people and just chat away. For others, maybe they want to grind the game and become really good competitive players. Maybe some people just want to experience a new reality. They want adventure. They want action. They want to have a new novel experience. And all of these are all different ways to escape reality. And tying back to when I was young kid and I I started playing. I just loved gaming because I didn't have to think about school. I could just play the game and isolate myself into a new world where there are no problems. I think that we can all agree that for the vast majority of gamers, we game to escape reality. So let's jump into it. Mr. Legendary, why would you do a gaming detox then? And I think the best way to answer why I decided to do a gaming detox is actually to show you guys a TikTok that I created to capture my sentiment towards gaming. So let's go ahead and watch that TikTok. So if there's one thing that I wanted to capture with that specific TikTok, gaming personally, just I could really see how it progressively became less fun. But at the end of this video, I'm actually going to retouch that theme. You see, the thing about gaming is that I found myself kind of like mindlessly playing. I would get really excited to get on my computer to play. I would be playing and in the middle of playing, I'd be like, 
this isn't really that fun. Like I'm not really, you know, enjoying it as much as my mind was kind of excited for it. But that's not the problem. You see, the real problem is that I just kept playing. I didn't stop. And it doesn't make sense. Why do I continue to game when I'm not even enjoying myself? And another thing that also bothered me when I was gaming was that I was just getting sick of things so fast. You know, I'd play a game. I'd go really hard and play it for a week and have a good time. And at the end of that week, I'd be bored and I'd find a new game. And then I'd try to look for a new game and a new game until there's just nothing to play anymore. It was almost as if I was chasing this level of enjoyment that was never actually attainable. So one day, I was real with myself and I decided I am going to do a gaming detox. That's what I did. So for the 90 days detox, let's start with the first week. That first week was a struggle. You see, when I hit that moment where I would normally play games and I couldn't, I was just left in like a blank like hole. It was just a hole in my day and I was just like, shit. What do I do now? I came to realize something. Something very interesting happened. After a week or so, or multiple weeks even, of doing this, I hit this point where I realized what was going on. Here's the formula. So if gaming serves as an escape from real life, and you take gaming away, what are you left with? I was faced with real life. I am now forced to confront life's responsibilities, but not just the responsibilities of life, but the responsibilities of my long-term goals. You're not actually taking a break from gaming. What you're really taking a break from is running away from your life's responsibilities. That's the biggest lesson that I've realized out of these 90 days. So you can probably guess what I started to do during these 90 days. I started to tackle these life responsibilities. One of them was developing my own physical health again. I wanted to get back into the gym. So what did I do with my free time? I started gymming again. And not just gymming again, I also started to amplify my understanding of how my body works in terms of food, in terms of nutrients. I actually had time to learn how to track calories. That's something that I've always wanted to learn how to do, but I never had the time for it because I was always gaming. So another thing that I've learned during this gaming detox is actually smashing that like button. No, seriously, can you, can you just smash that like button for me? So another example that I can give you for what I did during this free time was I actually started to feed my mind again. I was picking up books to read. I actually started listening to books and just putting on podcasts and, and feeding my mind with information that I never had before. And during these 90 days, I was able to read more than three books. Three books is a lot of information. You can change as a person. As a matter of fact, I picked up a lot of new healthy habits and new mental like rewirings one of them being i no longer touch my phone for the first hour of my day and it has exponentially like increased my self-control i just don't feel as anxious anymore you know i just feel like in control of myself i feel in control of my day i feel grounded again i think the big key point to talk about here is that this is a huge realization that I was using gaming to run away from some problems. And I was using gaming to almost delay the accomplishment of my long-term goals. I'm sure a lot of people watching this video can resonate in some way, shape or form. If you have a dream, don't let gaming be the reason why your dream is either one, delayed, or two, just never accomplished. Don't let gaming hold you down. One thing that I've noticed with this gaming detox is that I actually started to go outside a lot more again. And it was actually kind of nice. But what wasn't nice was the fact that my main productivity setup was at home. But thanks to today's video sponsor, Lapau, that all changed. In comes Lapau's Z1 portable monitor. This 15.6 inch portable monitor has a 1920 by 1080 resolution, a built-in speaker, a 0.3 inch profile, and is only 1.76 pounds. Now I have the luxury of working with two monitors wherever I go. And the best part, you can actually game with this monitor. But I didn't do that because I was on a gaming detox, remember? I will leave a link in the description if you're interested in getting yourself a Lapau Z1 portable monitor. 
So what is my mindset with gaming now that I did these 90 days? If there's one thing that this gaming detox has changed with my perspective about gaming, it's this. Gaming is actually most fun when you treat it as a reward rather than an escape. By doing this, you actually benefit yourself and use gaming as a source of motivation for you to accomplish your own goals. And that's pretty much exactly how I want to treat gaming when I get back into it and start downloading games again. I will treat gaming as a reward to my day rather than an escape. From my reality now if you enjoyed this video please smash that like button and also comment below what are your thoughts on gaming detoxes and if you are going to do a gaming detox let us know in the comments below i want to see it i want to support you guys it doesn't have to be 90 days it could be a month it could even be less it could even be a week and let me know how it goes for you and aside from all that that's all from me